What's going on? How are you guys today? Sorry about the noise in the background, but I'm filming on my phone because I wanted to show you guys a full day of eating. And sometimes when I come down here and I start doing a lot of work on an empty stomach, I get kind of jittery and hungry and, and start fatiguing. So I'm gonna show you some of the snacks I've had down here. Maybe I do this once or twice a week, no more than that. So I do have water kefir down here now, which prevents me from getting acne. So sometimes when I would have my snacks down here with no water kefir, you know, I would start breaking out a lot. This is just my, um, my retainers I took out because I, I wore them down here today. I didn't think I was gonna be eating. We have some organic uh, Cliff chocolate chip Z bars, and I have some organic whole pineapples, some macadamia nuts, uh, some soft dried apples, and I think I have some beef jerky. Yes, I do. Uh, so we're gonna have some beef jerky for the protein. We'll have some soft dried apples as our main carbohydrate source. The macadamia nuts don't really sit that well in my stomach. You know, too much fat is a bit hard to digest. I like throwing in one of these uh, pineapple things for variety, and then I'll have some of these at the end of meal if I'm hungry and I'll wash it down with some water kefir. I like doing the beef jerky first, then I have the apples and the pineapple and water kefir in between and then the Z bars. I've actually been pretty good with acne lately, but those banana smoothies, and I'll probably do a video on bananas and anti-nutrients, were making me break out a lot because the bananas have a lot of things that cause leaky gut, but since I stopped having the bananas, my skin has been clearing up fine. Speaking of jerky, that electrician couldn't fix the dehydrator, so I'm gonna try to get the Chinese company. Hopefully, the warehouse is back up and running. Of course, the beef jerky is protein, B vitamins, the apples and the pineapple. We have prebiotic sugars, fiber for gut motility, the kefir being the probiotic with a lot of B vitamins, and then these Cliff Z bars are very concentrated fat and sugar. So if I need like more calories and more energy. These are kind of hyper palatable. I probably shouldn't because I almost always get acne from this, but I get these uh, dark chocolate with almond bars as well, which I really like. A little caffeine boost. So I maybe half a bag of the beef jerky, three quarters of a bag of the dried apples, one of the pineapple things, uh, half a bar of the dark chocolate with almonds, and I'm gonna have um, two of these Cliff Z bars. Probably a little over a thousand calories total. So yeah, this stuff's expensive. like. Which is why I don't eat it every day, but um, it's good to, good on the go, decent, healthy stuff. And again, keep in mind, guys, most of these foods I eat are what I've found to be easy on my liver. So um, I've analyzed the ingredients. I've, I've tested them myself. This is basically me going through like every non-perishable product available at the local supermarket. So I'm heading home from work right now, and I really felt the histamine content. I was like holding myself up with my hands on my cart at the... Uh, at the grocery store I just stopped by. And for anyone unfamiliar with uh, histamine, I've done several videos on it. Uh, it's basically something your body has to process that is incredibly high in like jerky, the dried fruits, all that type of stuff. And I should have taken a copper supplement with that, uh, which I do have on organsupplements.com. So uh, vitamin C can also help alleviate that. I'm feeling okay now, but I'm probably going to take a nap when I get home. Normally, I don't eat as much of those foods so when i get home i'll be able to have like a meal of like normal food and push that stuff through my system today i'm probably just gonna lay down for a couple hours and just have one meal at the end of the day i know i estimated that meal to be like a little over a thousand calories but i think it was closer to 1500 1750 calories so uh, we got a decent amount in and my stomach's really full um, especially with that uh that water kefir as well so i'll check in with you guys when i'm uh, gonna make the second meal all right i just spent about two hours on my computer just answering some emails and doing some stuff i still underestimate how much time i spend on my computer every day with this nonsense business but i'm gonna have a bit of the flexurose with some vitamin c and ascorbic acid and a little bit of copper and then i might take a nap for a few hours just you know to get some more calories in very simple we got the mountain valley glass bottled water just a glass cup rinsed out some vitamin C, we'll do a quarter teaspoon, uh, one whole lemon, and I'll show you guys how much flextrose. That's one tablespoon, two, three, four, maybe that's a little too much. And there we go, that's about 35 cents worth of flextrose on the counter. Uh, some of you guys might have seen the Redmond salt. I think the red flakes they put in this are fake. 
because normally when you dissolve a mineral salt in water, all of the minerals dissolve, but I, these stay in there. So I, I don't want to, I wouldn't buy that stuff to be honest. I should have my rose salt at home here. I actually had one of these this morning. Uh, that was the only thing I didn't film today. Same exact thing right when I woke up just to give me energy before I went to work. Oh man, is that sweet. I did a little more than I usually do. I feel the glucose rushing to my pancreas. If you're a marathon runner, if you're an athlete, if you just want to the healthiest carbohydrate to put some weight on, this is it. You know, that's about 400 calories of pure glucose. Oh, and I'll, I'm going to take a little copper with that too. Uh, so it's already 4.30. I'm probably going to lay down a couple hours and then uh, we'll wake up and we'll have uh, just a rice, beans, and steak meal. Uh, as much as I've been having, you know, the, the pasta garlic bread that I showed you guys with my chubby Italian boy Dave eating, because I have to film uh, like a food show tomorrow in New York City where I'm going to be tasting a bunch of stuff. One, I don't want my skin breaking out. I want my skin to look clear while I'm eating. And I want, also want to have like a solid stomach for, for the whole duration of the shoot tomorrow. So I'm not going to stuff myself with pasta and garlic bread today. And I've been alternating between the chubby Italian boy day of eating and the back to basics day of eating. So um, kind of consistent over these past few weeks. As you guys can tell by now, I made the executive decision to just film this whole video on my phone because I thought, hey, what's the point of switching over to the camera, the audio, it's, it's whatever. Uh, but it's actually past midnight. I lay down for like two hours and then I just got up and did more work on the computer. Uh, so my stomach feels really empty and I know earlier I said I would probably have like rice and beans and just a cleaner meal to make sure I don't break out tomorrow. But I need the caloric density of like pasta and bread and that type of stuff. So. Uh, let me show you guys the chubby Italian boy meal that we did uh, maybe a month or two ago. So everything is kind of ready for the prep. We got the uh, two steel pans. One has some garlic oil that we're going to saute our sirloin steak in. One is a pan full of water with some salt in it that we're going to boil the pasta in. That is uh, Saratoga filtered water. This is bread alone sourdough bread, probably the highest quality in the supermarket, although they uh, still don't use filtered water, so it's definitely not the best. And this is something I made a couple days ago. It's a garlic and thyme oil. Uh, so I took like three pouches of coconut oil. I put it with some garlic and thyme. I kept it on low heat for three or four hours, and that's what we have. I might actually show you guys this recipe on Saturday, but... Um, it, it's painfully simple, so I don't know if it warrants a recipe video, although it would be short and easy. So all I'm doing here is making basically a garlic bread. I'm spreading the garlic thyme oil on uh, on the bread. And in hindsight, I wouldn't have put as much thyme in here because you guys can see it's uh, kind of green. And that indicates that, you know, there could be uh, too many uh, chemical compounds from the thyme in there, which is a little hard on the liver so uh, just keep that in mind see how your body responds to this and uh, but it's nice to have this stuff ready because I put it on the bread I put it on the pasta and I put it on the steak just to flavor everything it's really really delicious uh, so I've been enjoying that for the past week or so I'm just gonna throw this in the oven we'll boil the pasta we'll caramelize the steak and then I'll uh, show you guys the full meal so my water keeper is actually outside because um, one of the bottles exploded and uh, made a complete mess of the kitchen. <laughs> my parents were like freaking out. Um, that happened once when I purchased water keeper from a farm, but I didn't think mine was carbonated enough to do that. So oh, I only have two bottles left, so that might be an issue. So I'm gonna pop this open in the sink and release some gas. So it's, uh, a lot of pressure builds up, especially if the fermentation period is long. And, and once the gas is released, which is just about now, then this is going to keep foaming up. So what you want to do is just close it and let it sit for a few minutes so you won't lose so much of the water keeper coming out. 
And it does say that on the website, guys, frankiesrangefoods.com. Uh, contents under pressure. Once you receive the kefir, please release some gas every day or two just to make sure that nothing happens because the bacteria is continuously fermenting and eating sugar, producing more probiotics. You know, this is one of the consequences of having an actually active, high-quality live culture that tastes good. We we'll just finished cooking everything. Got to let the bread and the pasta cool off because they're too hot to eat. But, uh, hey, pretty simple. Lots of carbohydrates, feed the gut bacteria, promote gut motility, calorically dense, very delicious, and uh, nicely cooked. Our water keeper has settled down, as you guys can see. Uh, so I made a lot more pasta than I usually eat because I was hungry and I just wanted to make sure that I had enough food. What I like to do is uh, have some of this before the meal, just have the probiotics in my stomach. Oop. Uh, that can be alleviated if uh, you take a quick sip out of the kefir, which I was unable to do because I was filming, but we didn't make too much of a mess. The steak is so good. I've been really lazy in the past few months, not even like bothering to get the pan hot enough to get a crush on the steak, but I started doing that the past few days and I miss a lot. I usually take a bite of the steak, a couple of forkfuls of pasta, and then I have like half a piece of garlic bread. That crunchy enough? What's that new TikTok trend? Or it's an old one, it's like, you ain't eating garlic bread, where the fuck you at? I'm such an old man. I made way too much food. I can probably save the um, the steak and the pasta for another meal. Uh, the steak is usually okay, but the pasta, it's like no good. You have to kind of have it fresh, so I might just throw it out. Main dietary change over the past few months is I haven't really been having like a dessert after my meals. What I'll do is I'll have like um, a couple of tablespoons of the flextrose with some of the lemon juice and ascorbic acid. That's what I've been liking, so. No more cookies, no more chocolate, no more um, anything. Guys, I work all day, every day. I don't have any fun. Let me eat myself into a food coma with bread and pasta. Stop harassing me. I'm even having slightly alcoholic water kefir, so I'm getting half drunk. Leave the man in peace. Honestly, guys, how old do I look? I had this... 19 year old girl tell me I look 32 yesterday. I was I was heartbroken. I know that's not true, but So that's gonna be it for today guys Half of the steak half the pasta is left. I'll save it for tomorrow, but I ate all the bread and have a little bit more water kefir And that's gonna be it. But thank you guys for joining me. If you do want to support me Check out frank com for all my businesses. We got Frankie's syringe meat. You guys can check out the sirloin steaks. Frankie's syringe foods. We have the water kefir and a bunch of really cool products. Wi-Fi shielding. Wearing the t-shirt and underwear protective at all times. Lined with silver. Blocks all radiation. Frankie's naturals. I use my lip balm, deodorant, tooth powder every single day. And uh, I got way too many businesses. Organ supplements. We took the copper earlier. And a whole bunch of other stuff. So, frank-stefan.com. You can see all my businesses on there. But thanks again for joining me, guys. And I will see you for tomorrow's video.